Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIEVA Somi School. I am Ashish Bishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School Morning Shift. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 4. So my dear student, let us start our class. <coughs> today is our lecture number 18 of half yearly and today's HW number will be 12. The name of the topic is chapter 4 division from this chapter today we shall solve cbq number 1 and cbq number 2 will be your sw so here notice cbq <coughs> 1 and 2 is written here okay cbq 1 divisor is 78 quotient is 25 and remainder is one third of the divisor a number question what is the formula of dividend b number question Determine remainder from above information and C number question is what is dividend. So we solve this question. Okay. A number question is what is the formula of dividend. Okay. So at first we write the formula of dividend here. We know that the formula of dividend is dividend equal to the formula of dividend is dividend equal to divisor multiply by quotient plus remainder okay done next question determine remainder from above information that means from stem we shall find out remainder and the information is divisor is 78, quotient is 25 and remainder is one third of the divisor. Dear student, remainder is one third of the divisor. So, please notice the board here. E pi, ask you a question, one third of 12 is what? Here 12 is a number, I ask you one third of 12 is what? So, if we divide this 12 by 3, then we get that answer, 3, 4, 12. If I ask you, 1 third of 15 is what? That means we divide 15 by 3 and we get the answer, 3, 5, 15. Just like this one, we shall find out remainder, okay, from the above information. Here you notice remainder is 1 third of the divide. So, if we want to find out remainder, divisor is needed. So, when we solve question number B, at first we write given that divisor is 78. Given that divisor equal to 78 and remainder is remainder is one third of the divisor so now remainder equal to remainder equal to 78 divided by 3 now we show the division process here 3 divided by 78 in 7 3 goes in 2 times 3 2s are 6 subtract and we get 1 this 8 is placed here in 18 3 goes in 6 times 3 6 are 18 that means 0 so dear student if we divide 78 by 3 then we get 26 and 26 is the remainder okay i hope you have understood and this is the answer of this question remainder equal to 26 <coughs> So, B number question is done. C number question, what is dividend? So, we need to find out the dividend. In order to find out dividend, we need this formula. Dividend equal to divisor multiply quotient plus reminder. So, if we want to find out dividend, divisor, quotient and reminder is needed. Here you notice the stem gave you the information of divisor and quotient. And from B we get, find, uh, get the reminder. So first of all we write given that C number question 
given that divisor equal to 78 quotient equal to 25 and from B we get remainder equal to 26 now we write the formula of dividend after we putting the value of divisor quotient and reminder after solving then we get the answer right we know that dividend equal to divisor multiply by quotient plus reminder okay now what is the value of divisor it is 78 what is the value of quotient it is 25 plus what is the value of reminder it is 26 now we do multiplication of 78 with 25 first and we show this here 78 multiply by 25 5 8 jar 40 carrying 4 5 7 jar 35 plus 4 39 okay once place down for this reason here we write 0 next we multiply this 78 by 2 8 2 jar 16 carrying 1 7 2 jar 14 plus 1 15 i hope you have understood now we do addition 0 plus 0 0 9 plus 6 15 from 15 i write here 5 carrying 1 5 3 8 plus 1 9 and 1 is written here so 1950 if we multiply 78 with 25 then we get 1950 plus 26 now we do addition of 1950 with 26 6 plus 0 6 5 plus 2 it uh, 2 plus 5 it will be 7 and 9 and 1 so 1976 is the dividend okay so solution is done so we must write answer dv dent equal to 1976 dear student i hope you have understood this cbq number one okay this is your cw questions my dear student it is your uh, it, it is your cw you must pick up this in your cw copy and cbq number two will be your sw this is sw number 12 we read the question there are 600 pencils we are putting 12 of them in each box so a number question how many boxes do we need that means 12 box 12 pencils are put in one box so 600 pencils is put in how many box we divide this 600 by 12 and we get required number of boxes okay a number question done b number question if we want to put 12 pencil in each box then how many boxes do we need it my dear student this time we put in each box 10 pencil not 12 pencil in in question number b we put 10 pencils okay in one box we put 10 pencil so 600 pencils is put in how many boxes we divide this 600 by 10 and we get the required number of boxes i hope you have understood question number b question number c the price of a pencil is 12 taka what is the price of 600 pencils so easy question the price of one pencil is 12 taka so the price of 600 pencil is hot we do multiplication of 600 and 12 and we get the required number of taka okay i hope you have understood how to solve question number b uh, question number two okay my dear student you must do your assign sw in sw copy in submit it regularly in our school campus you must submit your uh, sw in our school campus in every saturday within 9 am to 3 pm 
so my dear student keep practicing at home avoid by your parents see you soon till then assalamu alaikum